Hello, this is James Quesada, host of Sounds Funny Radio. Lately, I'm actually here to let you know that what you're about to hear is an earlier rendition of the show before we decided to have a host at all. The format is pretty much the same, but in this version, we'll start by hearing an audio collage of voice messages from people who called in, followed by a fast-paced montage of short scenes inspired by that collage. Then, in round one of the show, you'll hear a game we call Fill in the Blank, where we take stylized, sound-designed prompts and leave blanks which are filled in by words and phrases taken from audience voicemails. We play those cues for the improvisers, and they immediately pick up wherever the cue leaves off. That's all you need to know for now. Enjoy the show. And my suggestion is a squid with social anxiety. Always find it very funny when I give people the fear of long words. Teddy bears and their place in adulthood. And I was like, wow, this is so cool. So I hung up because I was scared. In your 90s, doing the 90s. That one kind of made me think that when we're all in a retirement home together, we put on a variety show. That's it. Have a great podcast. Bye. Oh, a discarded teddy bear on the side of the forest. Pick me up. Oh, 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 are you, are you looking for a parent bear? I'm looking for help, please. It's Sydney Squid. I squirted again. Oh, no. It's okay. It's natural, honey. It's natural. Just let it out. Let the rest out. It's, it's black smoke and it looks antagonistic. You know what? I, it's, I should let you know, I'm entirely scared of big words. Supernova. Oh my god! Welcome back to our show. Next up, Gertrude's going to come forward with her reenactment of the war. Well, it was 1892. Not that war! Well, it was 13. 1907, uh. and I was a bassinet girl. Did you just sneeze in? Yeah. Cough, cough. Did you just cough in? <coughs> What's happening in this grocery store? Sniffle, sniffle. I am the sole heir. Finally, finally, I was chosen. Oh man, Dad, I knew Dad had a favorite. Well, 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 well. To Sounds Funny Radio, the completely improvised radio comedy show featuring suggestions from our listening audience, including. My name is Amy from Avondale Estates, Georgia. I am Andy from San Jose. Hi, this is Kate from Chicago. This is Kristen from Indianapolis, Indiana. And many more. And this episode featuring the voices of James Quesada, Sunny Outlaw, Christine Pinheiro, Kyresha Redmond, Langston Belton, and Desiree Justin. Hear ye, hear ye. By order of the Queen, all Sparkly villagers will be sentenced to death. Please report to the castle immediately. I have, um, I'm to be reported to the castle for death. Nay! No, we, we won't let you go. I, I am but the innkeeper and I serve many ale. If I would, but to die, who would serve the ale? That's what I want to know. Oh, no. Oh, hide, quick, there, hide. Is there any broccoli in there? Oh, you have to, you have to hide away now. Get, quick, get into the oven. Oh, aye, aye, in the oven I go. Uh, oh, yep. Uh, come on in, just, uh... Um, oh. You've seen the royal decree, no doubt. Oh, yeah. Sparkly, sparkly heathens and such that ought boss, to be... Boss, yes. I smell something. Oh. I smell it. You smell it. More I do, fr- I do, I do. My friend, 
Reginald here has a nose that can smell out the sparkliest of folk. Go get him, Reggie. Yeah. Go get him. Go, go get him. I bet you're going to run right down the road here because there's nothing sparkly here. Okay. okay. Boss. Mm-hmm. Boss. Mm-hmm. Yep, I smell it too. It's Across the way there. right here. Nothing to smell here. No uh, one's here. Excuse me. You away gotta... with you. Away. Excuse me. you got a talking oven here. Yep. I do. And it's... Dirty, I need to clean it indeed. Oh no, I fell for that one down at old Mr. Schmiegelson's house. Ah. No, no, no. Very, very common. It's not something to be fallen for, it's something to be uh, bar- bar- bargained for. You Embarrassed. Know. Okay. Okay, well... So that's a story. We don't have any sparkly people here, but we do have a talking oven, and that's facts. Well, we're not looking for talking ovens, we're looking for sparkly people. <laughs> Are you wasting my time? Am Are I you not wasting... good enough for you? This oven ain't good enough. Yeah, come on, let, let, let us cook you something out of it. All right. Reginald, you hungry? What was I thinking? All right, all right. If there's no person in this oven, I guess there's no problem with me lighting it. Yep. Oh, here oh, we oh, go. Malfunction, malfunction. <laughs> Uh, good morning, ISS. Houston here. Just wanted to let you know there's going to be some... Starlight, gelatin... This morning? Uh, no need to panic. It should all go... Sideways? Houston out. Oh, don't bother radioing back. We, uh, went to lunch. Houston over and out. To lunch. I mean, we're good. I mean, why else would they go to lunch if we weren't good? You know, that would just be mediocre or medio- medio- mediocrity. Dad. Yeah. Do- yes. I'm really loving bring your daughter to work day. It's I- been fun. Hey. Hey, thank you, kiddo. I I needed a win. You're my hero. Really? You really mean that? Because you're my hero. Going to school every day. I never went to school every day. And I ended up an astronaut. I want you to be better than me. Yeah, but, 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 but mommy says you're not an astronaut anymore, and now you're just a dumb pilot. But I told her you're my hero. Woo! Gotta dodge that Whoa. marshmallow because it has gelatin in it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Captain! Captain! Okay. Totally, probably not a big deal, but some sprinkles got into the carburetor of the engine number five. All right, then I'm gonna need you to put some frosting in. Whip it good. <gasps> I know, I always forget the frosting. All right, thanks, Captain. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Hey, Debbie. Uh, that was a weird interaction. I just saw some sparks, some like firework sparks. Well, I mean, I am in sixth grade. Yeah, you're 12 years old. I start to, I'm, I, this is actually a good time. I was hoping I could ask you what, what, what my breasts are for. Whoa, we're <laughs> turning ah! completely Whoa, left so right cool. now. Oh, Dad. Whoa. Whoa, Dad. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa we might Dad. just crash and die. Whoa. Oh, we, we may just crash and die. I don't know if I can save us out of this one. I'm yes, not that good. Yes, you can. Good. You're my hero. And hey, it's me, Bob, your friendly AI companion. Couldn't help but notice that you were getting a little bit too close to an obstacle that could destroy the ship. Please correct your course and make sure we're back on track. Please correct your course and make sure we're back on track. Please correct your course and make sure we're back on track. Do you know Bob? Sure Do uh, you know Bob? No, no, Please no. Course. We will Please crash into this course. planet before Please I have to explain course. the birds and the correct bees. Course. Correct course. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to enter the calculator factory and convince them to give you a job placing inappropriate things in the microwave. This message will now self-destruct. Oh, oh. (laughs) You see, there's just a complete misunderstanding here. Uh, I, I thought it was totally appropriate to put tilapia in there. I mean... Is this your first day? No. I've been here for three weeks. Okay. Seem still new. <laughs> I mean, I think it's, you know, we work in different departments, right, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. I work in buttons. 
Ah, buttons. Yeah, yeah. get the apartment, get the apartment. Are you still using that microwave? Yeah, um, I have, uh, you know, a dessert. I have to heat up my dessert. Mm. It's flan. Most people here around here don't use the microwave. It's just, just uh, odd, that's all. Uh, hey, my- Janet. I couldn't hey. help but overhear that you said microwave flan. And that is just offensive. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> it's just a, a tradition in my, in my family. Offensive in that flan is meant to be eaten cold. That's what I meant. Mind if we see your credentials, please? (sighs) You know, Uh, she's she's just different. We have to accept it. She's new, bringing a new, fresh energy and um, energy that I don't really vibe with, but I'm trying my best. You know, here at this factory, it's about math. It's about numbers. You know, a microwave is kind of... It's iffy. We don't really want it here because you have to... You know, you have to heat something for a minute and a half. Then it's not hot enough, so it's another minute and a half. It's like the it's, consistency of flan is, it is like wet it's, enough. It's not meant. Let me just get my Thank you. flan out of the microwave. <laughs> Everybody, there's been a calculator disaster on what? the floor. What? No. What? What? Mike, slow down, slow down, slow down. What's going on? What's going on? Wait, why does it smell like tilapia and flan in here? Well, well new girl over here. Oh. Janet. Use the microwave. Oh my gosh, are you, you're, you're new? <laughs> Three weeks been here for three weeks. <laughs> Have you never seen a microwave? Are you new to the world? What's going on? I'm, I'm not new to the world, all right? Oh, you know what? Let me, <laughs> I forgot to microwave uh, this. Uh, I'm just going to wrap this up into some oh my foil. Oh, my God. Don't put foil in the microwave. No, Janet. <laughs> General, we have an incoming transmission. Translating. I just don't understand why the robots have to be so mean, though. Hello, human. Fuck you. Oh, <laughs> hey, whoa. I just, just want to introduce you to my friend here. I just want to just no, no. This always happens. I, I. No, hey, I no. shouldn't have. I shouldn't have come back out to start socializing. It's, no, it's too soon after no, the breakup. No, hey, listen, hey, hey, listen, listen. The apocalypse is over. Uh, the truce has been signed, right? We got we got robots, we got humans, we all hanging out, we having a good time. So I thought it'd be great. Sad human alert, sad human alert, boring. Hey, 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 hey. Caltron, Caltron, can you just chill? That's my name, don't wear it out. Uh, no, it's 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 me. You don't have to be a, a Caltronic robot to- Knock, knock. Go ahead. Yes, who's there? Deodorant. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I feel like I know where this is going. This is going great. <sighs> Teodorant who? That's what <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be such a sick burn if this sweet, robot is already laughing this hard. Sweet, sweet, I may be a vacuum, but you are the one who sucks. <sighs> Go ahead, pile on me, I deserve it. I'm, I'm just broadcasting pitiful, I Listen, get it. No, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I just brought you to this robot bar because I thought you might want to change a pace. You've been stuck in that shelter with all those humans for so long. Yeah. Maybe you want to change a pace no, in these I'm automatons. Not, I'm not worthy of love. Yeah, well, I mean, they don't even know what love is, but. Wow, maybe if you, have you ever thought that maybe we sweep, maybe that we don't understand, we understand love and you don't understand us? Yeah. Maybe I am the one who doesn't know what love is. News flash, boring. What if you, I don't know, loved yourself for once? (sighs) Then other people might love you too. That was some good advice, Calctron. You always know what to say. (laughs) Thank you. Okay, so that didn't work out. (laughs) David. There are other there are other robots in the world. I appreciate you trying so hard, but I'm just a lost cause. I'm I'm, I'm dead weight. I'm holding you back. Okay, well, yeah, go live your life. Well, listen, me. Knock and... knock. <sighs> Who's go, there? Go. <laughs> Dude, you, you think this is gonna lead <laughs> to something? Is you way think dead going? weight. Okay. <laughs> dead, dead weight. Who? Man, I, I honestly I can't help but feel like I once again know where this is going and I think it's at my expense. De- dead weight who? <laughs> They're new to humor. They're new to humor. So look, think about this. It's great. Yeah. This well, is great. You're, it's that easy to make a joke out of me. Dead okay. Dead weight you. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Listen. Ha, ha, you are ha, so funny. Ha, ha. Oh, America's man. got talent. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
The following segment includes sound effects in real time. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Attention students, anyone who is participating in today's field trip to the Sea World gift shop should gather all of their eyes and report directly to the buses. Directly to the buses, please. Susan, I'm not going home. Well, um, I'm not going home either. No, No, the skip shop has everything we need. And I think our parents deserve to learn a lesson. Okay. Right. Like they're totally going to miss us. And then they're going to regret not giving me a fucking iPhone. Oh my God. Someone say, I. (laughs) Oh my God, sir. Uh, We are teenagers. (laughs) Oh. No, no, no. Oh, is that Hang a maroon me, vest let, and a name tag? Let me let me oh, walk this back. You're disgusting. Hang on. Please, I would, I would love to oh. walk this back. Oh I'm my sorry. god, you're slapping yourself with a shamu ruler. Just yeah. I've, been, I've been a bad boy. Yeah. Oh my god, no wonder Shamu died. <laughs> Truly, I didn't mean to interrupt the wizard. I just overheard the word I. Baxter? I, is that you, Baxter? Oh no, I gotta go. Get out. I don't. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's taking off his manatee suit. What are you doing? Oh, it's so bad. Oh, bad, bad. Baxter, Baxter, get back here. You ladies enjoy your time at the SeaWorld gift shop. Please enjoy our Shamu Wows and Sham Wows. <laughs> Oh, my God. A man in the dolphin uniform is kind of cute. Oh. He w- <gasps> oh you I've- like that mating call? Oh. Hi. hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a catfish. Oh. I like to. That's a mating call for a catfish. Yeah. I, I saw again. you. Yeah, yeah. Do it again. <laughs> it's oh. like a rooster. I'm waking something up, if you know what I mean. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, I, I don't know. You're making me feel like, oh, 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 your friend's coming. Yeah. Yeah. My friend's coming. That's, uh, what's up? <sighs> um, I get the long one. That's the hammer shark. That's, yeah. I'm a hammer that, shark. We do, uh, p- like plays for kids at the exhibitions. Catfish, uh, you're yeah, mad late, you. bro. You're <laughs> mad late. Okay. You missed your cue again. I, yeah, that's that's what I always do. I, I hit I, my cues a lot. I really well, liked when you did that whole speech about pollution. Yeah, it's really bad for the hammers. You know, like they're actually like sharks are really beautiful specimens. Like I really respect them a lot. Um, and now they I'm get a bad at a rap. Beautiful specimen right now. <laughs> I, you, you two girls, you two girls, are are you two from PS one eighty seven? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, your bus just uh, your bus just left. Good. Now our parents will fucking regret all of their decisions. Yeah, I'm getting an iPhone 14 tomorrow. Did someone say I? (laughs) 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 And coming up next, strap on your shower curtain for a brand new episode of Red Light District Evangelism. Only on TLC. Go on, brother. And that was the newest hit from to Neil and Daniel saying my love for the Lord goes as deep as you do. Welcome back. Amen. Welcome amen. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Amen. Everyone. Amen. Welcome, amen. Back. Welcome back to Evangelism at Night. My name's Pastor Pharaoh Tethers. And I'm Sister Patty, Patty, Patty. We thank you for joining us here on the late night love session with the Lord. Mm, amen. We have uh, some lovely guests, some lovely songs for you. In fact, in studio, we have the very singers of the song you just heard, Daniil and Dee. How are y'all tonight? How are y'all doing tonight? Oh, we're doing good. We trying to get in deep. Get so in, deep. Get in deep. In the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, we are praising his name mm. and feeling his Holy Spirit. Say his name mm. louder and louder. I say it as loud mm. woo, as the Spirit doth move me. Amen, amen. Now, as you can hear in your radio sets, the red light is on, which means that our shower curtains are strapped on. We're ready to get wet. Mm. With salvation. With salvation. With salvation. This wow. next, uh, this next, this next tune comes to us from our friend Barbara McIntyre, and it's called "God, What Are You Doing in Here?" Oh God, what are you doing in here? Boom, bang, on, bang, on. I don't have on any clothes, but I'm open for your salvation. I'm coming to you as I was born. But also with some Velveeta Easy Mac in my hand. Because the Lord provided. Amen. 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 I just amen. saw God. I Ooh. just saw God. Oh, I saw something. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Sounds Funny Radio, and you're thinking, if they're using voicemail suggestions, does that mean there's a way for me to call in? That's correct. You're smarty pants, and we want to hear from you, you, you. There are two ways to leave us a message and have your suggestions inspire the show. One, go to our website, soundsfunny.pizza. We couldn't afford.com. And SoundsFunny.Pizza sounds way funnier than SoundsFunny.Net, which we also own but don't use. (laughs) Anyway, go to SoundsFunny.Pizza, click the box on the side of the page that says leave us a voicemail, and follow the instructions. Or two, you can give us a text or call at our Google voice number, 313-314-1599. That's 313-314-1599. Follow the instructions and leave us a voicemail. It'll be way shittier audio quality than using our website. But hey, you don't care. And neither do we. And now, back to the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's time for round two of the show. And this time, we're going to hear a voicemail from an audience member who called in to tell us an anecdote or just to share something that's on their mind. Our improvisers will listen to that voicemail and let it inspire a bunch of different scenes in a bunch of different ways. You have two new messages. This is Carl from Boston. I'm calling about the 2003 Honda Odyssey that I saw on Craigslist and was wondering if you would consider bartering for uh, 14 house cats. One of them is diabetic. Let me know what you think. Bye. Carl again from Boston calling about that Honda Odyssey. Um, After looking at the photos, I noticed there are a lot of stains on the interior. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about how those got there. I'm worried that excessive stains are going to put this out of my price range. Still still have the cat um, and could also up my offer for bartering. If you've got any kind of household chores or tasks that I could help out with, um, let me know what those might be. I'm pretty pretty handy myself. Uh, thanks for your time. Hoping the, uh, the to make this work. Yep. Bye. Listen, I'm telling you, old reliable is gonna make it all the way to Arkansas. All right. She's been in the family for 20 years, and she always gets you to where you're going. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the noise of having the windows down because the AC doesn't work. It's a nice summer breeze, isn't it? Ah, uh, what, what? One more time? Maybe shout a little louder, and 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 it will make the car go faster. Cause we're only hitting sixty in a seventy-five. All right, okay. Betsy is 
she's, she's, you know, she takes a, a little gentle, deft hand, all right? And, and it's a manual, all right? You gotta be careful. Yeah, or otherwise, manual like we're gonna have to get out and push. <sighs> that was one time, all right? It was one time, and we were only stuck for a few hours. <laughs> I feel pretty stuck right now. Yeah, we're having this conversation. So. In the most uncomfortable conditions, we are doing it now. All right. Come on. Bring it at me. Come on, because you knew knew exactly what you were getting into. I want commitment. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, Mittens. Hey, Mittens. Oh, oh my God. Hey, it's me. It's It's little me, Mittens. Oh, Mittens, quit. Cut the shit. Why the fuck are there so many of us cats in here? Oh, oh my god, no. I might have gone out into an alleyway and just pulled a bunch of strays mittens, in mittens, with me. Mittens. Mittens. Yeah, Snowball. There were, 12, there were 12 other cats in this house. I know. I started again. Hey, guys. Hey. I'm the new kitty. Hey, hey, new kitty. Hey, what's happening? I feel safe here, yeah. finally. Yeah. Well, finally you're not. A home. You're not. You're not, because you know what I heard? What? I heard the big hairless ape talking about giving us to someone for a car. What? All 14 of us are going somewhere else. We're for- being bartered? Yeah, how do you know what, yeah, how do you know what that is? I'm How do you know what that is? I I used to be an office cat. Nice. Well, you don't listen to the voicemails, Mittens. Well, you you've been listening to the yeah, voicemails. Yeah, I get up on Yeah, I can't, but when he's By the way, does anyone that? have any orange juice? My um sugar levels are going out oh, of whack. Oh, no, I just hop up on the counter. Uh, we knocked oh, over the we please, knocked that bad boy over it. there. There we go. Um I just uh I'm having a hard time letting it go because uh, it's been in the family for a long time. So, um, uh, I, I, I don't want to sell my antique, you know, the thing that it's called. This one of these. A whistleblower. Yeah. That's what we, that's what grandma called it. A whistle. Yeah. I'm going to snitch on you. Polly. <laughs> if Polly, the whistleblower is up. For sale Polly. at the moment, but I it's he's been it's been in the Polly, we don't, for so long. Yeah, I don't know. But we don't it's it, we gotta we gotta sell him. We're down to our last family member, okay? Yeah, I mean that's kind of the paradox that we're in, right? If we if we sell Polly, we're we're like giving away something that's been in the family and losing one last family member that we're hoping to gain or hold hold on to, I you know. I understand, but what would grandmama have said? What was her famous line? Fuck them and, and feed them f- fish. Feed them fish. That's exactly what Fuck she'd say. Fuck them and feed them fish. That's what she said. Polly. You know what? She would have sent Polly weeks ago on the list of the Craigs. Okay? <laughs> How many times has Polly bailed us out of a, a shady situation? You know, people people trust Polly to keep secrets and he never does. I like to snitch. It's in my programming. <laughs> Um, excuse me, I heard that you were selling <laughs> secrets on Craigslist. Yeah, for the right price. Oh, I got your right price right here. Go ahead and open it. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, this you is a whole crave case of White Castle. <laughs> yeah, and it's more it's than like 30. 30. Oh, there's more than 30? There's more than 30. I know what secrets are worth in Holy this part. Oh, shoot, there's... You want me to put more than 30 burgers in this crave case? Listen here, it's of the utmost grave importance. Do you want to fucking go to jail, Jen? Listen, we're cousins, all right? Do me this one solid. Okay, it's the last time. Listen, um, it's Granny, okay, Mr. Tax Collector? Mm-hmm. I got a briefcase full of White Castle hamburgers, and if you don't accept this as, pay- as payment, you fuck! I'm going to feed you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'm going to feed you. <laughs> hey, did you ever hear, did you ever hear back from the, from, uh, from the, who, what was the name? What was the name? The, the, the voicemail, they left a voicemail. The voicemail I sent you last. Ferdinand. Yes. Did you ever hear back from Ferdinand? Good grief. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Well, I, actually, funny story. I did. You did? I did. We okay. went on a date. How'd it go? So-so. What? What's so? What? No, I mean, 
His name's Ferdinand. How could he be so so? There's at least a funny story behind his name being Ferdinand, right? Hey, um, th- thanks for swiping right on me. It's Ferdinand. Um, so, uh, you look nice. Thank you. Heard you work at White Castle. Yeah, yeah, I'm a manager. Wow. I'm a, I'm a big dog. I'll be, I'll be honest. You're short. Hey, you two. Uh, just uh, checking on you because it looks like this isn't going well. I'm just gonna see. I'm a short kid. Nobody ever calls. I'm a short kid. No, 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 no just, it's okay. Just, we get a, can we get a booster seat? Just wanted to see if we're gonna order anything before I, actually, I do. I do need any a booster more, seat. Put any would... more effort into waiting on the table here because I, I, I can just get a sense just from looking at the tone over here. It's not going well. She offended me. She called me short. Mm-hmm. I'm a short king. Look, it's, okay. and I don't yep. deserve. This is like sure. this get, is prejudice. I'll, I'll get you a booster uh, if you he get me an order. I'd like to order a new date, a respectful date. Oh, but he's sassy. Okay, I'll good. circle back around. And how does that lead to a fire? <laughs> well, <laughs> funny story. You know, what? it's it's one of those, it's like an 80s movie where you're just like, it montages into, yeah. I will burn this restaurant down. You know what? You're this sassy. This is the worst date I've ever had in my life. Somebody call my therapist. Polly knows what you did. Polly's going to jail, but not to but to snitch on you. I'm getting arrested. You know what, Polly? You snitch away. <laughs> Let me get this straight. <laughs> you you went. <laughs> The reason you're in here sharing a cell, <laughs> sharing a cell with me, is because you wanted to snitch about some some guy named Ferdinand to me on the inside. I'm a whistleblower. Oh boy, that's exact. All right, um, you're in the electric chair right now. Have any last words? Oh. Yeah, Polly's got some words to say. Okay, Your objection. spouse is cheese. Oh, uh, geez, the lights are flickering. Um, oh. any, anyway, are you two going to order anything? Because um, you you have just a bunch of matches and I, gasoline out. I like I'm a pina colada. You know what? Honestly, I was going to leave, but you seem like a nice dude, Ferdinand. So you know what? Order the cod, cause fuck them and feed them fish. I'm, I'm gonna finish the state. See, your negative energy caused me to crash a 20 year old family heirloom, all right? And now we're stuck at fucking White Castle. Yeah. I can't believe you're still being petty when I have a fucking broken. Can I get femur. three orders of chicken rings? Yeah, I was and gonna say, this doesn't look like it's going well. You wanna get some chicken rings or a crave? I, mean, I will listen. take three orders of chicken rings. You wanna crave? You wanna crave? I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can do yeah, a crave. I wanna crave. Uh, I, I, want, I wanna be in a relationship that has craving to it. We, okay, all right. I'm, I'm sick of being toyed with. Like, are we gonna be together for the rest of our lives or not? Do you okay? feel like you may be. Shoving too many burgers into this particular crib. <laughs> Excuse case. me. I'm, our I'm, I'm love. Sorry, man. I'm behind the glass. It's three o'clock could you, in the morning. Could you please talk about castle. either of our burgers for a second? Uh, <laughs> like you, you, I don't know what your uh, uh, vestment is here in our relationship. You're the only two in the castle, man. This man's got a point. All right. All right. Our love is like a regular sized like a regu- meal. Like a regular sized meal. And our love cannot. Fill mm. a 30 slider crepe box. You couldn't. It's not big enough, right? And maybe <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, maybe that is the problem. And maybe we should just order smaller for the appetites for that we have. Life. Smaller portions for both yes. of you. Yeah. Your maybe. eyes are too big for your heart. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> round anything and everything goes starting now hey lieutenant i uh, just saw your i uh, just saw your form for your launch uh, your space launch tomorrow i see you got two passengers you and and your daughter yes that's awesome little penelope it's awesome is she aware of the uh, the dangers and horrors of space travel yeah and uh and and unfortunately i think i'm i'm a little scared of her dating travels <laughs> If you'd like to know the specials, we have Leg of Miller's Wife, 
We have Arm of Miller's wife. I know. We have... I could smell it a mile away. <sighs> Smells delicious. You're short, but you're smart. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. That's right. The Welcome rapture has happened. It looks like we were right, but we're still here. So maybe... And we are as breathy as ever. Yeah, but we just found out that we're not going to the king. Okay, so we're going to keep the show going, even though the rapture's just happened. Everyone who's here listening to this is probably in for a lot of trumpets and... Let us pray. Yeah. Oh, I am ready for rapture part two. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, uh, I've been here for ten years inside this prison. I yeah, how come you never snitched about me and stuff? I got a lot of issues and stuff. You never talk about me. Because Polly with a Y, I see a lot of me and you. Hey, I, this what? guy's supposed to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's, hey, oh, that feels so much better. All my stuffing's back on the inside. Ah, oh, I feel like a Ooh. whole bear again. Oh, yeah, I'll take care of you from now on. Yeah, no one's ever going to throw you to the wayside oh, again. Thank you so much. Yeah. I... My previous family, they just, they just threw me out the window on their, um... I heard you were selling a bear on Craigslist. <gasps> what the hell is this? A uh, hey. real? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I promise the guys are so much cuter at Six Flags than at SeaWorld. Just this uh, gift shop. I wonder... Did someone say I? <laughs> 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 Thanks for listening to this episode of Sounds Funny Radio, featuring Christine Pinheiro, Desiree Justin, James Quesada, Kyresha Redman, Langston Belton, and Sunny Outlaw. Special thanks to our listeners who left us voice messages to inspire the show. Amy from Avondale Estates, Georgia, Andy from San Jose, California, Kate from Chicago, Kristen from Indianapolis, Nicole from Rochester, Michigan, Lisa from Newport Ritchie, Florida, Alicia from Nashville, Chris from Durham, North Carolina, Kylie from Wellesley, Massachusetts, David from Boulder, Colorado, and Carl from Boston. If you'd like to leave us a voice message to inspire the show, go to soundsfunny.pizza or give us a call at 313-314-1599. You'll be hearing plenty from us and we'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. And while you're there, leave us a rating and a review. It's the easiest way to support the show, and it's entirely free. On the other hand, if you're into giving us money, we're into it too. You can support the show for just a few bucks a month by joining our Patreon. In return, you'll get full-length bonus episodes every month featuring a variety of alternate show formats, experimental games, live show recordings, and more. Follow us on social media at Sounds Funny Radio. And once again, go to soundsfunny.pizza to see when we're performing this show live on stage. Sounds Funny Radio is produced by Brian Flaherty, Raul Magyar, and me, your host, James Quesada. Our associate producer is Colin Dworski, with additional audio assistance from Chris Agar. Our executive producers are Mark Evan Jackson and Nate DeFort. Thanks again for listening, and we hope to hear from you on the next episode of Sounds Funny Radio.